Federal Reserve has done some pretty stupid things in its existence, but the fact that it's currently printing trillions of dollars while still raising interest rates is probably at the top of that list as the dumbest thing they've ever done. And we're starting to see the cracks in the system. I think that there's about to be a total reckoning in our current financial system, and a lot of people are already talking about it, but I've been talking about this for the past few years. If you go back and look, I actually made a video talking about the fall of the US dollar about three years ago, and I was talking about the Federal Reserve and their, their money printing, and now a lot of people are catching on to you know what the Federal Reserve has been doing behind closed doors and it's becoming a trend and because of that we now have to prepare ourselves and worry about our personal finance because of the actions of an elite group of bankers and this is something that Satoshi Nakamoto actually has been preparing for for a very long time since before 2008 so um, it's really cool to see if you go back and read the Bitcoin white paper and read about you know his thought process on creating Bitcoin you'll see why it's so important and right now I'm stacking up on both Bitcoin and Ethereum I put out a tweet last night talking about why I think that we need to stop this whole debate about Bitcoin versus Ethereum. The maximalists in both tribes need to cut it out because that shouldn't be a debate. We need both Bitcoin and Ethereum in the crypto industry for a new financial system. Both can be self-custodied, which is the most important piece of all of this in in crypto and both both assets serve as different things which is why both are needed ethereum is obviously used for smart contracts whereas bitcoin is used for more of a hard money and so <clears throat> the the debate should be against fiat currencies crypto versus fiat it shouldn't be Bitcoin versus Ethereum. So we need to cut that out and we need to encourage others to cut that, that crap out because it's not helping anything. The real problem in our society is the Federal Reserve. Don't listen to anything that Janet Yellen or Jerome Powell are telling you on the television. If they say that our banking system is secure and the US dollar is fine they're paid to say that right they have to say that but you've got people like Tim Draper who are you know a very wealthy investor one of my favorite investors telling business owners that they should be keeping two months of their their book pay in crypto what does that tell you that tells you that he's fearful of what the current banking system is doing. And there are a lot of other people out there as well that are saying similar things. Our banking system is about to implode and you need to be ready. Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad Poor Dad, is saying that the banking system failure is going to lead all stocks to crash stocks, bonds, equities, all of that is going to crash, according to Robert Kiyosaki. And yeah, he's been saying that for a little while, but during the 2008 financial crisis, there were people that were saying that that was going to happen for years and nobody listened to them. So it's time to start listening, it's time to start paying attention to what's going on around you. Like I said, I'm going to be continuing to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. That is my plan moving forward. I also buy DGEN things too. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you do as well. NFTs, GameFi projects, things like that, that I consider as fun money that, you know, might pay off one day. But 
right now you really need to be focusing on what all of these bank failures are going to do to the current financial system. There are a lot of really terrible things to come, I believe, um, but it might be a little while before it all unfolds. There are some people that think that it's happening within the next 90 days. I don't know if I believe that, but we'll see. There's still so much to talk about with all of this, but I'm going to leave it there for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It really helps my channel grow. That's it. Crypto Clay out.